What have I learned from watching Bow X Love episode 11? What have I learned about this episode? Yes, Bow X Love episode 11. What have I learned? Two things. No, three things. One, we finally got some plot. Yes, plot. You know, since the beginning, since the first episode, I was trying to figure out where the plot thickens. You, you know, it's like plot don't really come late, you know. Sometimes not too late. I mean, sometimes the plot of every episode or every every episode you guys see usually comes around the first, second, or third best ep third episodes at best. Okay, but then this show hasn't got that plot yet until now, and I finally got to see some plot. It got it has a lot of it, the plot explains why, and I get it. I'm not gonna go into details about the plot of Val X Love because. The plot just really just opened up to like, okay, what's his purpose? What's, like, it changes the ways of how he develops things? Okay, that's that, you know, is that. Second, Shino. Okay, here's the thing. We finally got to see Shino without her armor. I mean, the first, in the opening, we see, in the opening of the show, we saw her without the helmet. Okay. Okay. And then, later on, we saw her, like, Fully naked, you know, armor off, helmet, armor off, and full of her body, you know, all that white hair down. You know, she looks hot, okay. But that's not going to change waifu status. Let's start. Also, what I've learned is this. Finally, 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 Takuma got a pair. He finally got a pair. A pair. A freaking pair, and he's fighting. That's what I want. He's doing something. He's finally doing something. Yes. Takuma's doing something. Finally. He finally got a pair. He's finally stepping up his freaking game. And he's doing what? What? What we wanted him to do since the very, very, very first beginning. Now, Okay, now look, here's the thing. I wish he was in the shoes of the main character from Trinity 7. Like, he should take a book. Like, he should take a book and learn all the harem male characters that we all know and love. From Monster, the main character from Monster Mitsune. The main character from, from High School DxD. The main character from Shimano Testament. The main character from Trinity 7. Main character from Seki Ray. You can name every harem anime. This guy needs to learn the books of how to. Oh, my bad. The main character from To Love Rule. But back to what I was saying, he finally doing something to make the harem grow now. Like he finally know how to do it. Like he should learn from all the great harems, male harems in anime. This guy got a pair. And I like how start off with the blonde hair. Valkyrie, you know, and surprisingly, like, she's the weakest. I get that because she's, like, level one. She hasn't been fully developed yet. Plus, I like her in that bath scene with her, which says, like, do you like older women? Insert, yes. I mean, I do have, like, in harem animes, when it comes to, like, the oldest girl, I'm okay with it. I'm actually okay with it. That's fine. So he's, so they make it out in the bath, you know, in the tub, you know. Got that developing, so yeah, I give him that. But it wasn't enough. I mean, she is the weakest Valkyrie because of her not enough strength wise. Now, him making out with the with Akine, the, the first sister, the first Valkyrie. Yo, he went in, not only kissing but going deep from the from tongue from lips to tongue from grabbing ass. He went deep. Respect. That is like, even when there was danger involved, facing the facing those demons, and he got cut. He took. He got balls. Let me just say, that. he got balls now to just go out there, 
wanted to protect the Valkyrie, protecting her, and just literally when groping it from grabbing the abs, from groping the boobs, from kissing, he got a pair. And not only that, now that he wants to protect the sisters, finally, want to protect the sisters, you know what he did? You know what he did? He got his grimoire book, and now he's facing, now he's working together. And here's the thing. From that outfit, when he transformed from that outfit, he kind of reminds me of that uniform that you see from Seraph at the end. You know that vampire anime? If you look at that compared to that, you kind of see the diff. You kind of see, like, finally. Like, he got it. You know, but still. Still. We didn't, like, we got something. Like, for this episode, we didn't, we got a fan service. Let me just say that. This episode was about nudity to this core with and a lot of kissing and all that stuff but looking at this from right now he basically just by overall of this episodes and moving on so basically he makes out with the girls to level them up through sex kissing and all that stuff just to level them up now does this kind of a sicky ray type thing i mean i get it when it comes to sicky ray once you kiss the Ashikabi, they go full power mode. Okay, I get that. But when I look at Val X Love, it's kind of like that. The only difference is with Seki Rays, once you kiss them, like, they power up. I mean, you can have sex with Seki Rays on that stuff, you can. But they don't level up with that. With Val X Love, you do missions, you level them up. Even if you have to have sex with them, and they work just like that. And boom, they make them the slaves. I mean, it's got a little bit of a Seki Ray vibe thing, but still, he got it. He still, he got it. Now, I starting to like this guy right now. Now, his thing. Do I like to, uh, up to this point right now, this episode, do I like the main character? Yeah, I can't say yes yet until the last episode kicks in. Like, once, I, once the last episode kicks in, that's when I say, you know, he got my respect. This right here, I respect him now, personality-wise, He's, uh, I get it, personality-wise, that. But am I jealous of him? No. I'm not jealous. Because he's not that type of person that I want to be a main character's dream. Like, okay, let's be honest. Main characters in a the harem, there, there are some characters I want to be, like, considered the luckiest bastards. Let me just say that. The luckiest bastards. Darling Kun from Masame Sune, lucky bastard. Minato from Seki Ray, luckiest bastard. Basada from Shimamano Testament, lucky bastard. Um, Issei from High School DxD, El Rito from To Love Room. Those are, due to me, those like the, or oh, the main character from Trinity 7, the luckiest bastards in anime. In a good way, because I wish you and I. Like, you and I both know, and everybody should know, that we wish we were them. But then I look at Takuma, okay, I mean, he got nine sisters, he got to have sex with them, make those things. Okay, that's a good thing. But it, that's kind of like, not my really the thing, like, I don't want to be that kind of scenario that he's in. Minato from Sekirei, lucky guy. But still, this guy, you know, not much. Now, what I, but like I said, in this episode, he finally got a pair. And by a pair, I mean a set. And now, he's taking hits. He's taking blows. He's taking hits after hit, after punch, after punch. He finally making out with the Valkyrie. And now, he becoming like a Grimoire vampire, like from Seraph of the End. But at least he's developing. Finally a developer. And, you know, back then I did say one of my videos that he better develop. He better step up his game around 10, 11. And just like that, we finally got it. Now, I look forward for next week's episode, which is the last episode of Our Ex-Love. Honest opinion, I don't think it's going to be a second season of this. Probably an OVA when they end up beaching. Like all harems, edgy animes, we're going to have them in the, we're gonna have them in the beach scene. So let's see how that works out. So I look forward for next week's episode of Violet Love, which is the last episode, and I hope you guys will enjoy it.